Hey everyone, so today I am going to do a ballroom inspired makeup tutorial. I do this before competition and here I already started with a base layer foundation. Now I'm just going in and applying a powder by CoverGirl to set my foundation. Now I'm going all over my face, especially the T-zone and my forehead. Now I'm going in with my blush from Bella Bomba by Benefit. I'm going to pucker up my cheeks. Well, I'm going to pucker up my lips and apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm using a bronzer from The Body Shop and I'm going to use this to contour my face. Now I am again puckering up my cheeks and going into all the hollows. I'm extending this down to my neck to make it appear longer. And I'm also going to go up into my temple and do the 3 and the E. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. But this just contours your face and makes it nice and bronzed. I practically change color when I get ready for a competition. As you can see, my hair is already done here. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to film a tutorial for it because I have to do this super quick, but I'll do another one where it looks much nicer than this. Next, we are gonna do the eyes, and I'm starting off with Eyeshadow Insurance by Too Faced. I'm gonna apply this all over my lids. Now, I use my finger to do a more precise application and make sure I don't use too much of the product or else it gets too oily on my eyes. Next, I'm going to use Too Faced eyeshadow by, again, Too Faced, um, and, the, and the color is Satin Sheets, sorry, <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister there, and I'm using this color to go into the inner third of my eyelids to create this just gorgeous highlight. Next, I'm going to use this wonderful uh, seafoam green color from Inglot. You can go into the store and kind of create your own palette. And you can do as many colors as you want. Uh, they have different variations. Um, I think that one might be 12, 12 colors, I think. And I'm using this color in my crease. And it's also going to help pick out my dress because my dress is a bright, bright green, lime green, yellow color. So I'm doing my eyes based on that. Now I'm going to go with a little bit more of that color and apply it to the crease of the inner eye and also the second two thirds of my list of my eyes. Now I am going to do my outer corner and I start by folding a sheet of paper, well like a little tissue sheet of paper, and now with a darker color from the same Inglon palette, I'm going to tap off any excess and I'm going to apply the sheet to the outer corner of my lid and create kind of a, a winged eyeshadow with the black. And like I said, this color is also from the Inglot Make Your Own Palette. The tissue will help create a winged eyeliner look. I don't like to use eyeliner specifically because I feel like it is not my strongest point and I always mess it up when I do my eyes, especially when my eyeshadow already looks good. Um, prior to doing eyeliner, so I figured this is the best way for me to get the look that I need. See? It's a pretty clean edge and now I'm just gonna fluff it out a little bit to make sure it's not as harsh. I'm gonna go do the same with my other eye. 
and here you can see a little bit closer of what the colors really are. I'm sorry, I don't think my camera is picking them up as well as I wanted them. And now with the last light pink color from the Inglot palette, I'm going to use this to accentuate my brows and do a brow highlight. And then I'm also going to go in to the other eye and also going to do an inner corner highlight just to give my eyes that bright up of color. That also helps smooth out the rough edges of the black and the green from the crease. Now here, as you can see, I applied fake eyelashes. They are demi lashes. Um, I feel like the full lashes are harder to take off for me and they hurt more. So I just did demi lashes. And now I'm going in with my Falsies Mascara by Maybelline and blending my natural lashes with the fake lashes. I love the way Demi lashes look. I feel like they give you a more natural appeal rather than doing a full eye of fake lashes. Now, don't forget the bottom lashes. As you can see, I'm also not using any eyeliner. I feel like eyeliner um, will run a lot, especially if you sweat on the dance floor, which is what happens to me. Now, we are going to do the lips. Here I'm using Outlast Lip Stain by CoverGirl and I feel like this gives me the best and most precise application. I love the color, I love the way it dries, and it actually does last really really long. Now I compete sometimes in the middle of the day and then I have to compete again later that night. So wearing something on my lips that does not come off easily is perfect so that way I don't have to reapply product all over again. And this color just stands out very well on the dance floor. It's bright, it's red, and I feel like it creates a very classic look. And it also, I feel like, gives me very precise applications. You can always go in and edit anything you want on your lips, whereas with lipstick, I feel like I can smudge it way too easily. And last but not least, I am gonna do a setting spray. It's an, the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Yeah, that feels cold. <laughs> but anyway, this will help my makeup stay on all night. I am dancing in the evening and we have a semi-final, so I will be dancing 10 dances. So I'm gonna need my makeup to last all day and all night to make sure I don't sweat through it. So here is the finished look. That's my makeup and I'm also going to turn around and show you the way I did my hair. It's really quick and I like the little sparkle detail. You can kind of see my dress in the back but I will show you guys a sneak peek very soon. Here's a close up of my eye. I feel like it's pretty strong but not overpowering. And here is my dress. Can you ever work it later?